Me and my boyfriend have been dating for three years now. Everything is great, and I want to marry him, but my sister and some of my friends can't see past the age gap. What do I do? Sorry, this went on really long, but I'm currently a big ball of emotions and I have to get this off my chest. Basically, my boyfriend 38M and I 23F have been together for three years with absolutely no signs of stopping and zero red flags that I've noticed. He is absolutely the kindest, nicest man on the planet, and I have never in my life felt such sheer chemistry with this guy, right from the start. I cannot overemphasize just how sure I've felt about everything. Everything. Until recently. It started with my sister. Literally all she can talk about is how old he is. It's actually breaking my heart because I love her more than life itself. She's my twin. But it's become literally impossible to maintain the same kind of relationship I used to have with her ever since we were babies. Honestly? This hurts more than anything. Like, I keep catching myself wishing she would just grow up and respect my agency here. I want my twin back. It's been three years that she's been like this and now we live in different cities and don't get to see each other often, but when we do, she'll have to remind me that I should break it off with grandpa. The worst part is, she's only ever met him three times, but the first time, she adored him, I hadn't yet told her his age. Before that, I remember going home for Thanksgiving break shortly after I started dating him. She and I stayed up late into the night in our old bedroom and I started telling her about him. She really liked the story about when he and I were at the lake before we were dating, and when it got cold, he gave me his jacket and found a blanket in the back of his truck. Then when she met him, oh my god, she was so happy for me. She kept telling me I got lucky. All that changed when I told her his age. Literally overnight, all she could talk about was the power dynamic. I told her he's not like that, reminded her of what she used to say about him, but she wouldn't budge. I remember how lonely I felt the day I told her his age in a text message. After hearing that, it was like night and fugging day with her. One day, she texted something that stuck with me, what would a 35-year-old want to do with a 20-year-old? It was just so condescending and patronizing, but coming from her, it felt like a slap in the face. Like a knife to my heart. In her mind, she expected this to be the point that finally changed my mind, but it didn't. And it's not like he's unaware of it. Especially seeing how venomous my sister is towards him. But he knows it's unconventional, and he's always been very open about talking about it. Actually, some of his family were skeptical about it too, but they all love me to death now. I think of his little sister as a surrogate for my own twin, though she could never replace her. But he's always been very respectful of my boundaries, and especially early on, he'd ask things like, I'm not making you uncomfortable, am I? Please let me know if I do. He never did. Not once. It was actually kind of annoying for a bit, but mostly just endearing. From the start, he's been extremely sensitive to the fact that he's older. So that's been the state of affairs for almost three years, next month. I'm starting to notice that he's planning something for our anniversary. He's taking a few days off work around that day, and we're planning to go back to the same place we went on our very first date. He's also been coy in this, absolutely charming. Way that he gets when he's working on something nice for me. But this time it's different. It's been in the works for maybe months, whatever he has in mind. I really, really think this is the moment. I think he's gonna propose. So there I was today at work, chatting with my work friend, let's call her M for short, and I told her all that he's been up to. She agreed with me that all the signs point to him being about to propose. He's making a bigger deal out of it than our previous first day tiversaries. Something's up. M wasn't excited for me like I expected her to be. In fact, she just got really quiet, and we only talked about work. Later that afternoon, when my shift ended, she actually vacated her spot, a big no-no for our job, and came to me in the break room. For the first time, after knowing me for nearly a year, M voiced her concerns about my relationship with my BF. She said she was concerned for my safety and that I was the more vulnerable member of the relationship, then she basically pleaded with me not to say yes if he asked. She said I'd be throwing my life away and that he was definitely going to turn into a monster the instant we got married. I was tearing up right there. She was so forceful about it, like she was talking to a dumb kid about to jump off a cliff for fun. I just ran out to my car and absolutely sobbed. I had to pull over twice just to wipe the tears out of my eyes. When I got home, he could sense that something was wrong, but I didn't have the heart to tell him. I'm planning on telling him what happened when he wakes up, but at the time, I was a wreck. I mean? I still am a wreck. I've been up all night. And this is coming on the heels of another of my friends telling me my relationship isn't healthy just because of the age gap. Though that friend is much more open-minded about it since his husband is seven years older than him, but still. It just feels like all these people in my life have just been desperately trying to gaslight me into thinking I'm being abused when I do not feel abused in the slightest.
or just the very idea that this woman who has never met him, M, has already drawn conclusions about him and she somehow knows that he's going to suddenly completely flip his personality upside down as soon as we're married. She knows I have an anxiety disorder and yet she goes and tells me that bulls hid. Naturally, it's going to live in my head rent-free forever now. God! For all this concern about me, not once did anyone consider my own agency. It's like everyone thinks that if there is an age gap, it must be toxic. Like he can't help himself but hurt me and if I don't feel hurt, I must be too naive to see it. But now after that outburst from M, I'm starting to wonder if I really am just being naive. Like, yeah, there's a big difference in life experience between us. He's been all over the world when he was in the Navy, I've never left the country. He's been to college twice, that's where we met, and I never finished my English degree. Like maybe there is something I can't see in all this, but I just can't imagine what it is that I'm missing. Maybe I am just a silly little girl being exploited and I don't even know it. But is it really worth ending an otherwise perfectly healthy relationship over an uninformed hunch from my friends and sister?